My parents bought me the original Burton Junkyard. I don't know how old I was, maybe between eight and 10. But you know, we used to always mess around with them in the front yard and stuff. And you always used to use it before I go to school, you know, waiting for my bus outside. I always slide down the driveway, you know, make a little jump, you know, have a little fun before school. My snowboarding became a thing where it became easier and I wanted something more challenging. And you know, there's always more tricks you can try for snowboarding, but you know, there's always, it's always a lot different not being strapped in, you know, being able to try the same tricks on a snow skate as on a snowboard, but you know, be able to do it a lot differently. Been about eight months and on May 1st, snow skating. Uh, had a jump wrong and you know this could happen to anyone just send me upside down and right off the uh, middle of the takeoff right where there's a bump and when I hit the wall I immediately couldn't feel anything so I knew it was from the impact of hitting the wall because it was going really fast. Right at the time of my injury I had uh, bending my spinal cord caused me to be paralyzed from shoulders down. Uh, caused me to have canes in my fingers, but I at least have my wrists so I can use tenodesis and still be able to pick stuff up. So I'm still very fortunate with what I'm left with. You know, it's glass half full, not half empty. Stoked on my family, just uh, love hanging out with everyone, especially my brother playing with RC cars. and. You know, I really appreciate hanging out with my girlfriend Abby every day and, you know, you know, wake up next to her and just, she helps me out when I need it. It's a miracle that this house was even here. There's so many little things that would have been for somebody handicapped uh, that we wouldn't, I would never be able to a la carte and put all these little details in that are available in this house. Uh, so one of which is there's a ramp to get Rob in the house from the garage. Uh, the kitchen and the area from to roll around in his power chair is much larger. He can maneuver through the house. There's an elevator that goes three stories upstairs into the bedrooms, to the basement, and along the first floor. Uh, incredibly, there's a pool and a jacuzzi. Uh, my brother-in-law put a lift in last week so that we were able to get Rob some water therapy while we're waiting for a spinal cord injury center to open here, which should be open in the spring. I mean, I said it when I saw that. I was like, dude, literally legend, like in the making, like dude just jumped a snow skate as far as people are jumping snowboards. The super park is like where the best of the best go and that's like the best of the best are hitting the biggest of the biggest jumps and to have someone show up there in a snow skate and hit the same jumps I mean granted they're doing like different tricks but just the sense that it's, that you're able to do it I don't know like something else record-breaking that's gone down in snowboard history it's like a thing that will be remembered forever. Thank goodness for uh, Roy Tuscany uh... He understood the huge need of me uh, being helped out as fast as possible. And once he came out, and it was I couldn't wait to see him. And once I met him, he was a great guy, and just really made a big point on uh, that you know nothing's going to be the same ever again. But they're there to help, and you know uh, Roy's always there if I ever want to call him. You know, you can you know it's always it's nice telling him when I first got in my apartment. And, you know, hear how excited he was for me being able to stay in Denver and you know, be able to continue my therapy for a little bit longer. This is the uh, Snowboarder magazine that they have all the Super Park footage in and I'm on the mid cover. How do you feel about that? Felt awesome to see something that I can always have a memory to cherish and just something I really worked hard towards. People said I made history, but to me, I always considered it just like regular skateboarding. But uh, definitely happy that everyone thinks I made history. And, you know, I guess to me, it shows with this magazine being the first snow skater, being a snowboard magazine, not on a snowboard. I'm definitely super proud of my brother, um, not just because of his snowboarding and getting shots in a magazine, but because of the person that he is and his willingness to persevere through this intense accident. Um, and yeah, look at this shot. That's pretty crazy. That is insane. I'm super proud of him. 
I'm glad he got to uh, land uh, a shot in, in a hard copy. It's gonna be hard to come by someday.